hi everyone welcome back to my channel here i am doing another dollar tree haul for you guys all right let's get into the haul okay so i got some more floral stuff um i can't stop with the fall florals um because i keep finding stuff as i go and i went to a couple different dollar trees in this haul and i still am i'm running behind so behind on like my fall decor my goal is this week to get everything up you know, before, by, by October 1st, and I still need to put my wreaths together that I was talking about like two videos ago. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna have time to film a DIY, but I do wanna post pictures of my finished wreath on my Instagram, so I'm gonna put that down below. Maybe I'll put it right here. Um, oh, if there's like weird noises, it's cause my neighbor is doing something. I don't, I have no idea. Okay, anyways, so um, a, a new floral that I picked up was this little pick. And I thought, I just really like this flower. Um, you'll see I keep getting the same type of flowers. I can't stop. And I got two of them. And I'm trying to try to move quickly through these ones. And then I got, I found one of these with the cotton stems. And I thought that I would add the cotton stems, pine cones to my wreath. And I only found one of them. And someone had like stuck it in a wreath. Like they were going to buy it, like seeing how it worked out. And then they didn't want it. So thank you. There's only one left. And then another kind of floral thing I got is this just a garland. And I'm sure I'm just going to put this on like my table or like on my mantle or something like that. Um, I just thought like there's somewhere that needs a garland that I'm going to, that I may need a garland for. So just pick that up. And then I got some more pumpkins that I hadn't seen before. And I really like this one. It's just super simple, like a matte, the matte orange with the gold. Um, definitely just wanted to add that to my pumpkin collection. And then I got this one too, which is like a gold, almost like a rose gold actually. Um, so I thought that was really pretty. And I got that one. Then also to go along with for my wreath, I needed, I needed some bows. So I grabbed these ones with the burlap and the leaves and they're kind of sparkly too. And then I got these um, foam pumpkins, and I got three of them. And I'm going to do like a quick DIY again. I'm trying to get this all done this week. And I'm just going to paint them. And I actually got the idea from Megan Navarro here on YouTube. She's one of my favorites. I love her. She's awesome. Um, she seems like such a nice person. Like I just would want to meet her like in real life. And um, she's like gorgeous. And... I actually came across her videos because her husband was on had a role in The Walking Dead and I was like a huge Walking Dead fan. Well, to get into a tangent, I was a huge Walking Dead fan. I saw episodes with, that her husband were in. Um, I stopped watching, like I, me and my husband started binge watching Stranger Things and then we just kind of like, they just kind of were changing Walking Dead and so we have, I'm so, so behind. But anyways, Megan Navarro, uh, her husband, was on Walking Dead so she had like one video that I came across that was like um, something about their experience with that and um, then I saw she did Darla Tree hauls and I was like what like she seems so cool and she is so cool anyways she did a DIY on her video on her video her channel using these pumpkins um, where she paints them and she she cuts the top off and just puts flowers in them and it looks so pretty and it seems so simple so I'm gonna basically try and do exactly that so I'm just gonna link her video down below because that's just exactly what I'm going to do with these pumpkins and um yeah she's awesome she's one that I watch regularly and then let's see another item getting into some different decor items I found the little um I, I found the little um trinket boxes and okay I need to clean this off because like I got somehow there's like a fruit snack in my bag or something and it like melted on it. I don't know, but I need to clean that off. It's almost fruit snack on it. But this, this is so adorable and it's um, from the, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was from the pictures that I had seen. Um, I mean, it's not that big, but I just thought it was going to be teeny tiny, but um, it's a de decent size and I just actually needed something, another thing to hold my um, jewelry in. Um, I'm starting to wear like a little bit more jewelry. And then another little decor item I got, I found the little balloon letters and I got the love one uh, in pink and I'm gonna put that in my daughter's room so I mean it's very like Valentine's esque but like obviously you could use this anytime anywhere 
anytime, anywhere. Okay, and then this is something I've been looking for, like, seriously, since, like, last year. And it's this nautical rope. And um, I think you can use this for so many different crafts. Some items I bought is just because I've seen, like, other YouTubers that I watch that do a lot of DIYs buy these kind of items. So I just assume, like, okay, they're going to use these items in a video and I'm gonna watch that video and I'm gonna do that and I'll have the item on hand so I might as well buy it now so along with that it's also why I got these copper wire lights there was only one in my store um so I picked it up because I knew someone's gonna do a video that I'm gonna want to try and copy especially during Christmas time and I'm gonna need these okay and then a couple of oh wait I'm not done with the DIY stuff okay and then I finally found the metal letters, finally. And I couldn't find them and they were like kind of hiding um, like on a bottom rack and I literally had passed them and I went back and I found them and I was so happy because I'm gonna put, um, incorporate these in my wreath. I think I'm gonna use the Thankful and Harvest one and I'm gonna save the Welcome for something else. Okay, now moving on to some beauty ish items um, they started carrying the wet and wild mega last lipsticks and the city color b matte lipstick so i'm super excited to find these and right now i'm wearing this color and it is spiked with rum and i think this is just such a great color for fall and um it's just this pretty like brick brick color I guess you'd say and these I, I think I I checked at Walmart after I bought this and I'm pretty sure they retail these for about two dollars there and I love these lipsticks I have a bunch of these lipsticks um and they're matte and they're just so soft and light and creamy and they're just awesome um they didn't have like that much array of colors um this was the one that seemed most interesting to me so I got this one and then I also got the City Color Be Matte. I know they sell these at other places. I've seen them in other stores. Not sure how much they sell them for, but I was pretty excited to find them at Dollar Tree. And this was just in taupe. And these ones, um, like these ones are like scentless. They don't have a, like any kind of scent. And these have like a floral scent, which is kind of weird, like for a lipstick. Like I prefer my lipsticks to be like sweeter, or, like more vanilla-y. But like it is kind of perfumey, if that makes sense. But it's a really nice color. Um, definitely wear something underneath it, like a chopstick or whatever you put underneath your lipsticks. Um, I just use chapstick, um, because it is matte and it's kind of it feels kind of drying. Not necessarily drying, but just like you feel it when you're wearing it. This one I don't feel, and this one you definitely like. You definitely feel. So, anyways, got those, and then. I found these unicorn fuzzy socks and they're so super soft, so cute. They have a bunch of other like characters or like animals, um, cause unicorn is a real animal, <laughs> um, different animals. And so I got, um, I just got the unicorn ones cause I'm about that unicorn life. I feel like I pick up something unicorn every time I do a haul. And then I also got, um, these note cards they're the expressions from Hallmark they have a ton of these and I just liked these ones a lot because I love that gold lettering and this color is everything this is like one of my favorite colors and um, it says bless your heart for being so nice and I just it's always good to have um, note cards on hand and on the back it says that they're retail for $3.89 so that uh, is a great deal and you get six cards and so I got another one that says thank you and it has like this pretty gold foil detail detailing on it so excited to find those and then okay, jumping right back to fall stuff um, funny story my daughter grabbed this um, she wanted to hold it so I let her hold it and she managed to see how it has like the sticker like it's supposed to seal on the top so she grabbed it and it was filled with a um, candy corns right and my daughter managed to get this part. I thought that she wouldn't open it, but like, I should open it, right? So she managed to open this and also pop off the top, but yeah, it's pretty easy to pop off. And so she popped it off, but when she popped it off, she like, I don't know, did one of these and all of the candy corns sprung out of the tube 
they were scattered all on the ground so i had to get down pick up all the candy corns off the ground and there was like i don't know like four or five left in the tube and i grabbed all the candy corns off the ground and i just took them in my pocket because like there's no trash can around and i'm like what what do i do with these like i don't want her to eat them all off the floor so i have to keep them away from her so as i do often i just stick whatever fell on the floor in my pocket <laughs> and then as i'm picking them up off the floor she's eating the rest from here as a snack and so of course i had to buy i did not plan on buying this i don't really buy like halloween i don't decorate for halloween i don't really buy halloween things we, we do go trick-or-treating and do that the, like you know halloween on halloween but i just don't like buy decorations and stuff like that and you know she doesn't need any more treats <laughs> but she helped herself in this one but i did get this and i'm like it actually is pretty cute like if you were doing a little gift bag or like a party and it fills with it's you know supposed to be filled with acorn or not acorns it acorns candy corns it's filled with candy corns and um well she enjoyed them <laughs> so and it's it is cute so if, i think it'd be a good like party favor or something like that but I, actually it is it is a cute little pumpkin and she's like super into the like little jack-o'-lanterns whenever we go to the store it's kind of funny so anyways obviously because she had to have that and then um the last items i just have a few things from the dollar spot and target the target dollar spot and um i got the suede pumpkins and i got one in white uh, gray and um, like this mint color and I'm gonna and I just like these are a really great deal for just a dollar I think um, so I'm gonna put these I think in my bathroom because my bathroom is like this color and I'm gonna put them in like a little um, planter that I have in there already and I think those are and uh, my bathroom is pretty small so there's not much room to decorate so I thought these would be these look like something that you could like decorate your bathroom with so I'm gonna use that for that and then I also got these little um, face filler pumpkins, and these were three dollars, um, which I don't think is like that bad of a deal because it, it they're these really pretty white pumpkins, um, with like the gold foil showing through. Um, so I, did, I think I am actually gonna use it for base filler because I have a little, um, like a little thing that I put on my dining room table that I already put like base filler, um. In it so I'm gonna just substitute it with this so okay I have one more thing um, so this is the pumpkin spice ice latte and you will see that it is not hardly empty and that is because um, it is not good <laughs> it's not good um, I don't recommend it I like the other and I'm, I'm like not a hard critic when it comes to like food and like snack items like usually I'll just eat it um, even if it's like not great but this was bad. Um, I had tried the, I think I showed in another video that I tried the vanilla flavor and I also tried the mocha flavor and I like those, those are really good. So I thought this would be good too. But um, I feel like they just like took one of those other flavors, added some like cinnamon and like shock, shock, chalk to it. And that's what it tastes like. It tastes very chalky and it tastes, it doesn't really taste like pumpkin at all. Um, it just tastes like some cinnamon thrown up in there and thrown up in there. Up, it tastes like some cinnamon up in there and um, mm -mm, I didn't like this. Um, and like I said, I'm not really a tough critic when it comes to like snack food items. But when it comes to pumpkin spice, like you get it right or you don't get it right pretty much. There's really no in between and this is not good. So yeah, I tried this and I don't recommend it. Treat yourself to the real thing. Go to Starbucks. Get yourself a pumpkin spice latte, frappuccino. My favorite's a frappuccino. Those are amazing. Um, yeah, I guess just get the real thing. I mean, they're only around for, um, you know, so they're only around till the end of November, right? So, yeah, just get the real thing for sure. <laughs> Don't, do not buy the Dollar Tree one. Spend a couple extra dollars. Um, anyway, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, um, a funny story it's not I don't know if it's funny like haha -ha, but it kind of it's just like how does me laugh so um I didn't post a video up last week but I kind of like just kind of check stats on my channel and such every so often and I noticed that well I had gone I was excited because I got into 30 subscribers 
and um, I know that seemed like so small but um, for the longest time I had like four subscribers okay so 30 <laughs> is like a lot more than four to me um, it's not even a lot more than four but it was a big deal to me anyway so I checked my I just checked checking my stats or whatever and I noticed that I went down from 30 subscribers to 29 subscribers <laughs> So it seems like every time I gain like a subscriber, I'll lose one or two. And I know that's like not like the, the biggest deal. Like people lose subscribers, not that big of a deal. But when you only have like 30 subscribers and I'm looking at like 30 and it's looking nice, not only just like numbers wise, but just like to the eye, like 30 looks nicer than 29. And I check it and it's 29. <laughs> It just makes me laugh because I'm like, did someone like literally go out of their way to unsubscribe from my channel? So now that I have 29 subscribers when I had 30 and it's just kind of like throwing me off a little bit when I see that uh, 29 because just, you know, it's just nicer to see an even number even if it was like 20, you know, it'd be nicer to look at than 29. You know what I mean? I'm um, not saying that I want just 20, like don't drop off you 10 people. But anyway, so just like a small rant about that. Um, yeah, so I just was like, just a side note that like a, just like a rant event thing that like, obviously like I just do this, I do that as a hobby. It's a hobby for me and I enjoy doing it and like the numbers like aren't that, that big of a deal, but I do like, it just like personally, like I'm just like thinking in my mind, I'm like, well, I do take time to do it and I, I don't want to stop, but I really enjoy doing uh, my videos um but i do put off some other things to make time to do my video i'm a stay-at-home mom so i don't really have that much time to do things so i'm just thinking like prioritizing my life um you know what do i want to spend my time on making the most of my time and everything so right now i definitely like want to keep working on my channel and like growing it and um i definitely don't want to be losing people <laughs> is the thing so i'm just like it kind of gets me like questioning like am i what am i doing wrong can i be doing more that i'm not literally losing subscribers from 30 to 29. <laughs> it just like almost makes me laugh because i'm like am i just like really that like am i like one of those like american idol singers that thinks they're like super good at singing and they're like yeah like this is my dream this is my goal and then simon is just like you're you're terrible you're the worst singer i've ever heard um is that me i don't know <laughs> but maybe i'm just oblivious and that's okay and i'm gonna keep being oblivious and just keep doing what i'm doing but if anyone has any like honestly has any tips that you know started out small start how to just kind of grow your channel because like like I said, I did, like, I, I don't assume like, I'm gonna, or assume I'm gonna have like a hundred thousand subscribers, but like, maybe like a hundred, you know, like that'd be nice to at least see that like I'm doing something. I mean, you feel like I'm doing something, you know what I mean? Like, I just see these. I just I follow a lot of like bigger Dollar Tree YouTubers that do like you know, they're just amazing, and they have like these huge followings, and they just like create these like communities, and like that's all like really wanted wanted to join is just like the community, the Dollar Tree community, and I'm like that's really cool that they can do that and they just share their creativity and just something that they love um, with other people who um, enjoy the same things, and that's just really why I came on here. So, um, like I said, I want to be growing my channel like for that reason to just be like connecting and sharing um, my videos with people that um, are interested and like I watch videos that I'm interested in like these other you know bigger youtubers um, not saying that I'm like gonna like I assume I'm gonna get there or whatever I just want to be growing my channel you know what I mean I think that's anyone's goal even as a hobby you know it's part I think it, for me it's part of the hobby making it like a challenge making goals setting goals for myself to accomplish them and right now I just feel like I don't know like I'm kind of like I'm failing so but I still, I'm not going to give up and I'm going to keep trying, I'm going to keep making videos and I'm not trying to make it like a pity party or anything. I'm just venting and that's where I'm at right now and I just wanted to point that out. So if you would like to um, be that number 30 and just like make my brain, make it a little easier on my brain to see those numbers, or, you know what I mean? Just to make, just to make my uh, numbers a little prettier, if, just for those purposes, if you want to be that 30. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. I'll give you this high five, fist bump, spirit fingers. All right, that's for you. 
subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.